Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. We are back with some more declutters and focusing on my lip collection. And these are just all of my lip glosses. Yeah, these are my lip glosses. So obviously we need to do some decluttering of this collection. I will link my declutter playlist down below if you wanna catch any of the other ones. I've been doing quite a few recently in my makeup collection and let's go ahead and get started. This is a little bit overwhelming. Um, usually my lip gloss collection is the smallest out of my lip categories. And looking at how many lip glosses we have here, I'm a little bit concerned for what my other categories look like. I used to not be a big lip gloss fan that started to change in 2019. And now here we are with too many lip glosses. It also includes some like lip balms and lip oils in here. I just figured that I could throw them into this category. Uh, but let's go ahead, let's get started. See this one from Natasha Denona. This is, I believe it's called like a Lipphoria gloss and this is in caramel. And you can see this is a pretty pigmented gloss. I like it, it's not an absolute favorite of mine, I would say. I definitely wanna try like her new lip liners and also some of her I Need a Nude lipsticks, but I like this one, so I'm gonna keep it around. Next I have this one from Dose of Colors. This is the over the top gloss. This is in collaboration with Desi and Katie, so it is this swatch right here. You know, I never lost my mind over this one like so many people did this gloss sold out on their first run they came back with it in another one and that's when I picked it up it's just not a favorite of mine so I think I'm actually just I'm going to declutter this one this is from Maybelline one of their lifter glosses in opal so I just mentioned this recently in my top drugstore makeup of 2020 I'm a big fan of this one a lot of people say it's Fenty dupe I'm a fan, I'm gonna be keeping this. All right, speaking of Fenty, I have these three glosses here. I have Diamond Milk, Fussy, and then this is my newest one in Fenty Glow. This came in a trio that I picked up for holiday. So here are the three swatches here. I really do like the Fenty gloss formula. I first was a really big fan of Fussy, then I turned my attention to Diamond Milk. I do like the Fenty Glow. I just got that one, so I'm definitely going to be keeping it around. The only one that I didn't love shade-wise was the original one that they came out with. I have decluttered that, but I like these. I'm going to be keeping all three. I have these three from the Carly Bible and Il Maquillage collaboration. We have Supernova, Twilight, and then also Star Child, and they are swatched right here. Now, I liked a lot of, out of this collection. I have the lipsticks, and I also have the lip liners, and I wear those a ton, but the glosses I didn't really get much into. They're really pretty, and every time I see them on Carly, I'm like, oh my gosh, those are so pretty, and then I put them on, and I'm like, ah, I don't just like, not really for me, so they're just kind of sitting around and I kind of struggled with should I keep them should I declutter them because I'm such a huge fan of Carly but I decided that I wanted to keep one kind of for like the memory sake if you will and I decided on Supernova I feel like this is the one that I see Carly wear the most and it's a fun shade so I'm going to declutter one and or I'm going to declutter two and keep one from this collection two balms here from NARS these are pretty sheer so swatching them really isn't going to do much but we have Orgasm over here and then Laguna over here. I really do like these lip balms from NARS. I think they are really nice. If you like lip balms, I would definitely recommend them. Orgasm is the one that I reach for more because Laguna, I, I just, I feel like sometimes when I wear Laguna, it leaves a little bit more of a brown tint to my lips where Orgasm is a little bit more on the clear side and that's usually what I prefer. So I'm gonna keep Orgasm and I am going to declutter Laguna. I grabbed these two new releases from e.l.f. recently. These are their Sheer Slick lips. I have a golden pear and then also black cherry and they're swatched right here. These aren't my favorite. I typically say that I either like a matte lip or a really glossy lip. So sometimes these in between, um, more of these pigmented balms, I'm not always into as much. And I didn't feel like either shade I really like kind of lost my mind over. So just not a personal preference for me. I don't think that these are bad, but they're probably not ones I'm going to be reaching for all that often. So I'm actually going to declutter these. A newer one to my collection. This is from Bite Beauty. This is their Yay Slayer Plumping Lip Gloss. And this one is in Raspberry Swirl, which is right here. I've only used this one twice so far, so I'm going to keep it so I can test it out a few more times. Wasn't an absolute favorite mostly because of the shade. I just, I don't really wear this kind of more hot berry all that often, but I'd like to test it out a few more times to get a better feel for the formula. I have from Bite Beauty. This is one of their French press lip glosses and this is in flat white. This is a really pretty cool toned lip gloss. I've kind of gone back and forth on my feelings for this one. Sometimes I really love it. Sometimes I'm like, ah, eh, not so much. Right now I'm on the, I really like it train. These are now like discontinued and you can't find them anywhere 
and I know a lot of people are very sad about that, so I definitely don't want to be getting rid of mine. I know that I have quite a few from ColourPop, but this one was a part of their Sailor Moon collection. This was just in Sailor Moon, one of their ultra glossy lips. Not a favorite. ColourPop doesn't have my absolute favorite gloss formula. Some of them I do like because of shade, but this was one that I just don't see myself reaching for that often, so I'm going to declutter it. One that I do really enjoy from ColourPop and their glossy lip formula is Queen Cobra. I think that one is so pretty. The That's Taupe collection, which was just a big favorite collection of mine from ColourPop in 2020. I have a whole ranking video of all the ColourPop uh, collections that they released in 2020, and this definitely a favorite so I'm going to be keeping this one. Okay some more from Colourpop. These are their Luxe glosses. We have Renaissance, Lust, and Panache. So Renaissance, Lust, Panache right here for the swatches. Again they don't have my absolute favorite. None of these colors kind of move me in the way that the Queen Cobra does. So I am going to actually go ahead and declutter these three. These glosses are from the Raw Beauty, Raw Beauty Christie collection. We have Glacier and then also Wildflower. So if Glacier and Wildflower right here, a little bit harder to swatch these, but uh, Glacier is definitely my favorite out of the two. I like a, a really clear gloss, especially with some sparkle in it. That's just, that's a favorite of mine. So that one's really pretty. Wildflower, I'm not, like I don't love it as much as I do Glacier, but I really enjoyed this collection also. And I was trying not to keep too many ColourPop glosses, but I think with these and then just the Queen Cobra, I feel like that's pretty good. So I'm gonna keep these. The other product I have from ColourPop is their Lux Lip Oil. So nothing really happens much when I swatch it but I actually really do like the lip oils I feel like they're a very comfortable formula I was a little bit surprised because I'm not a big lip oil girl like I think this is the only lip oil you're seeing in this video and because ColourPop doesn't always make my favorite lip formulas I kind of went into it like eh, I don't know but I do like it and this one is in the shade truth bomb three more here from elf cosmetics these came out in their retro paradise collection we have a tropical fruit punch a moment and then this one is electric lemonade and then here are the swatches. These smell really good. They smell um, like kind of coconutty, remind me of being on a beach. Uh, a good formula, not, it's not something that I would say like is an absolute favorite, but this last one here actually really surprised me. And I, I actually really ended up liking this one. This is the Electric Lemonade. It looks like it's a blue gloss, but I mean, you can see even when I go like this, like it doesn't really seem like it's that much of a blue like an actual blue gloss and it doesn't really look super blue on the lips, but it gives a very cool shine. It's a very unique lip gloss. I don't feel like I have a lot like this. So I'm gonna keep this one and then I'm going to declutter these two. All right, I have four glosses here from Persona Cosmetics. I really do like this formula. I think it's very pretty. A lot from Persona really impresses me. So we have Honey, Pink, Toffee, and then this one does not have a sticker on it to tell me its name. These swatches there. Honey has been a favorite gloss of mine for a while. That one used to live in my purse. And then we have pink toffee and then the kind of orangish one. So I really do want to cut down my lip collection. I've been eyeing these ones from Persona because I'm like, I know I really like the formula, but I really wear honey the absolute most. So I know I'm going to be keeping honey. The pink and the toffee they're pretty shades, but not ones that I wear super often for myself. So I think I'm actually gonna declutter these two. And then this one, I decided that I wanted to keep it because it's just kind of that fun and different one for my collection. I don't have a lot of glosses, especially in this color. So I am going to keep two, keep two and declutter two. I have two here from Buxom Cosmetics. One is White Russian. This is like their most popular one. And the other one is in Hazel. This was a new release for fall. So we have White Russian and Hazel. I'm not gonna lie, I looked at my White Russian and I was like, I can probably declutter this. I've used up minis of the White Russian, but I actually don't want to declutter it. It's just kind of one of those fallback plumping lip glosses that are so pretty. And it's, it's like, more of, how do I explain it? It's a little bit more of like a natural gloss, yet it plumps the lips in a natural looking way and it doesn't hurt them. And it's just pretty. And I just... It's my last one. If I have multiples of these, I would get it down to just one, but this is the only one that I have and I would like to keep it. And then Hazel, like I said, is a little bit of a newer gloss, but I have some other ones that are going to be similar to this. And I, I just, I really wanted to keep the White Russian. I'm, 
actually going to keep one and declutter one. This mini from Hourglass, this is their Sublime lip gloss and the swatch of it is right here. This is actually a really beautiful gloss and I feel like I kind of keep forgetting about it. It's one of my minis. I just need to pull it to the front because it kind of keeps getting hidden in the back and it's really pretty. It's a little bit more of a plumping gloss but the color is just very flattering and it's mini. I would like to keep it. Another gloss I really enjoy is from Lawless Beauty. This is their glazed gloss and the swatch is right here so you can see it has some shimmer to it. This was one that when I first got it I wasn't really sure I was going to love it with how it swatched. I was like I just don't know if that's like a personal lip gloss favorite of mine. It's actually really, really pretty. Um, even paired with just like a nude uh, lip liner or a, a little bit more of like a pinky lip liner. It's actually a very flattering lip gloss. I really like the formula too. It's not sticky at all. So I'm going to keep this one. Some lip balms here from Milani. These are pretty clear, so I'm not going to swatch them. These are their fruit fetish lip balms. I chose the mang mango coconut and the dragon fruit peach. I like both of these. I like the mango just a little bit more, but I actually don't mind them. And they're really good to just kind of throw in the purse to have as I refresh our lip balm, so I'm gonna keep both of these. Another mini I have is from Ilia. This is their Only You Balm. It's such a beautiful color, and the first couple of times I worn it, I thought like, this is gonna be beautiful, I'm really gonna like this, but this is one of those balms that kind of dried down a little bit more on my lips, and then after a short period of time, they start to leave that line, especially on my bottom lip where... You guys probably know what I'm talking about, but you know, that the, the line that you get with some lipsticks, but I usually don't get it a lot with glosses, but this is kind of like a gloss, almost like balm hybrid. It's a little bit thicker, and I've just noticed myself passing over it because I don't want that line to happen, especially if I'm filming a bunch of videos and I'm not necessarily looking at my makeup or touching up in between, so... I think I'm actually gonna declutter this one. I'm a little bit surprised by this. This is one of these Sephora lip balms and I remember always getting frustrated because the actual name is not anywhere on the packaging, which is a little bit annoying. It's supposed to be like a dupe to the uh, Marc Jacobs and a lot of people were really speaking highly of them. So I bought this shade and I really do like it. So it's right here. This is one of those that is more of that balm kind of like shinier consistency that I don't always go for, but this one I actually thought was really pretty. This is another one that I feel like I need to give some love to, or I don't know, I'm kind of feeling maybe a chopping block video coming up. I'm just, I'm kind of torn about it. I'm gonna keep it for right now, but it is, uh, it is, it's on my chopping block. I have quite the lip gloss collection here from Ofer Cosmetics. I do have one that I would say is a favorite and I wear um, the most out of all of these. So I know that I can do some cutting down. So starting from this side, we have Millie and then Apricot Dream. Then we have BRB, Golden Rose. Then we have Natural. Second to the last is Bali. And then the last one is in Bear. Then here are all the different swatches. So definitely a standout for me is the shade Millie right here. Um, possibly because this is my collab shade with Ofer Cosmetics. So, you know, it's a it's a big favorite of mine, I would say. Now this is part of the collection that I came out with with Ofra uh, last March. So this is my Millie Gloss named after my grandma who loved pearls. So obviously a big favorite of mine. This is my most worn lip gloss, hands down. I'm also not gonna lie to you, I have like five opened Millies throughout my house. I'm just showing you one in here, but I'm obviously keeping all of them. I feel like I need one in every section just for if I ever need a touch up with whether I'm in the basement or the bathroom. I have myself covered with Millie. So this is still available on the Ofer Cosmetics website. You can buy it in the set with my Story Liquid Lipstick or you can now purchase Millie separately. I know so many of you were giving me feedback to both me and Ofra that you really wanted to see Millie sold as a separate because a lot of you were already finishing up your gloss and it means so much to me. We were able to launch it as a single. I just thought that was so cool. So obviously keeping Millie, she's a top fave. My other two favorites, my first love... <laughs> is obviously this one right here. This is Apricot Dream. So, so beautiful. It's that second swatch right there. When Ofer came out with their lip glosses, which are newer, maybe like 2018, 2019, something like that. When they came out with them, I was like, what? This formula is beautiful. And I really wasn't a big lip gloss girl at the time. And I feel like Ofer was one of those that kind of started to change my mind. But this one is like this really light, almost kind of like peachy, milky shade. And it is just gorgeous. And then BRB is super cool. So here's the swatch of that one. 
it's just, it's like a little bit more on this purple side, but it's packed with a bunch of shimmer. It's really cool. I'm definitely keeping both of these. Favorite and one that was a part of the like original lip glosses that came out that I really loved. This one is in Golden Rose. So this swatch is right here. It reminds me a bit of Apricot Dream, but instead of being on that peachy side, this one is a little bit more on that purple side. And it's just beautiful. Love the formula. So I want to keep this one. And then the other three, I am going to declutter these. So we have natural, Bali, and then bare. If you can see where my preference kind of lies with lip glosses, it is these swatches. So I'm, I'm feel, I feel pretty okay to declutter these three from Ofra. I have a new gloss here. This is from Nabla. This is one of their Shine Theory glosses in the shade District, which is right here. So this is newer to me. A lot of times I don't show new, new products in my declutters just because I will be keeping them but I've been adding in the new stuff just so you can see like full collections also and I don't know if this will turn into an absolute favorite but the couple times I've used it I thought it was pretty so I'm going to be keeping this one around. This one here is from Marc Jacobs one of their enamored lip gloss sticks and this is in mocha chocolate so it looks like this and then the swatch of it is right here so this is the one that I said is pretty similar to that one from Sephora that I have. I will say I really haven't reached into this Marc Jacobs one for a while. Um, I know I've gone into the Sephora one even before I've gone into the one from Marc Jacobs, which is kind of surprising to me because I really used to love Marc Jacobs lip products. I do still have a few lip uh, lipsticks also, but I just really haven't been going into this very often. So I'm actually going to declutter it. This even surprises me. I have this one from Milani. This is one of their Keep It Full uh, lip glosses, and this is in Nude Shimmer, which is right here. When I swatch it, to me, it looks a little bit darker than what I usually prefer, but I think it actually looks really pretty on the lips, and it just kind of gives you a slight bit of shade, but then a lot of shimmer. It really kind of plumps up your lips, but again, in that more natural way. This is one that has really impressed me. I'm gonna keep this one. Final stretch, I have three here from Sigma Beauty. This, these came out in their Corderosa collection. So we have uh, Lilac Wine, Secret Garden, and then Corderosa. So here are the swatches here. I don't mind this formula. It's, it's really smooth, it's lightweight, it's not sticky. The applicator is more of this like brush, which I don't absolutely love. The ColourPop ones are similar to that. So I'm just gonna keep one from this collection. I'm gonna keep the Lilac Wine. It's the shade that I feel like I would reach for the most and the other two I don't think that I would. So I'm gonna keep one, declutter two. Here from Clarity Cosmetics, these are a bit newer to me. So we have Sneaky Intentions and then Drop the Mic. So they are swatched right here. These smell really good. They have like a little bit of that fruity scent to them. I've used uh, Drop the Mic more just because I like that little bit of sparkle to it, but I'd like to keep both of these around so I can keep using them. This one is from Pure Cosmetics. This was their collaboration with Barbie. This is the Girl Gloss and it is right here. It's beautiful. I've talked really highly about the lips in this collection. The lipstick is beautiful. This gloss is beautiful. It's very, very clear and very shiny with a, just a little hint of shimmer to it, but it makes the lips look so beautiful. Definitely keeping this one. This little mini is from Jouer. This is one of their lip toppers in Saint Tropez, which is right here. It's a beautiful swatch, but I just really don't reach for this very often. And I've had it for a while now. I think I got it in like a trio a while back and I decluttered all of them except for this one. Cause I was like, looks like a lip gloss that I should love, but I just really don't reach for it. And since it is quite a bit older, I am going to declutter it. I have these three here from Pat McGrath. So they came in this little trio. We have pale, Fire Nectar Divine Rose and then the last one is uh, Dare to Bear and then here are the three swatches. So Divine Rose I know is not my favorite. It's not a style of gloss I'm going to wear all that often so I am going to declutter that one. For the other two this one is actually really fun the Pale Fire Nectar which I just find to be a hilarious name. It looks very fun on the lips, uh, either alone or with a little bit of a lip liner. It's very cool. So I'm going to keep that one. And then finally for this one in Dare to Bear, I've been kind of going back and forth because I don't really reach for it all that often, but it's kind of a cool shade. Now looking at my piles, trying to see how I did. Um, you know, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to try to get a little bit more use out of it and see if I'd want to keep it around. Actually, I have my Charlotte Tilbury gloss collection. So these two are a little bit more of those balms, which again, I decided to just throw in here because I actually house them with my glosses. So, uh, we have Pillow Talk and then Pillow Talk Diamonds. So this one is Pillow Talk Diamonds. So it just has a bunch of gold sparkle to it. And then this one here is the, just the regular Pillow Talk. And then we have the two swatches here. Pillow Talk Diamonds is very, very cool. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I tried it on in a video a few months ago and I was like, whoa, 
whoa, that's very neat. And then Pillow Talk, these, um, I think they're called the Superstar Lips. They're not my absolute favorite, especially from Charlotte Tilbury. I really do prefer her Matte Revolution. I really like the Collagen Lip Bath that you're going to see coming up. But I've had a few of these shades and I decluttered them down to just the Pillow Talk. So I still would like to keep that one around. So I'm going to keep both of these. And then speaking of the Collagen Lip Bath, I have this one in Pillow Talk, which is swatched right here. This is a really nice gloss. I'm very impressed with it. It's one of those that is just like very shiny on the lips, but it like doesn't lose its shine. I just get so impressed with this. Uh, I reach for it way more often than I initially thought I was going to, so definitely keeping this one. And my final gloss, I don't know what the name of this is because the one thing that drives me crazy about Charlotte Packaging is she doesn't put like the actual names of the, the category of product on here. Here. I mean, the shade name is in Pillow Talk, which, I mean, really, Shar Shar, you don't really have to put that on your on your products anymore. We know that they're going to be named Pillow Talk Girlfriend, but I can't remember the exact name of this gloss, but this is the swatch of it right here. I know this isn't a favorite of mine, though. I've kind of kept it around because Charlotte's one of those brands that I really do like to keep a lot from. I have a whole video reviewing my entire Charlotte Tilbury collection, and it's kind of nice to keep some of those products around to do those videos, but since I've done that one, I just, I don't know, I don't really feel like I have to keep this one around. I don't reach for it too often, so I'm going to declutter that one. After that, that is everything for my lip glosses. Let me pull out my two and we will see how I did. Here are my two piles. So in my keep pile, I'm going to be keeping 37 and then I am going to be decluttering 25. I feel pretty good about this. I feel like that's a, that's a large section of lip glosses that I'm going to be decluttering over here. We have some favorites, some staples, some new ones that I'm still testing out. So I feel good about this. I hope you enjoyed seeing this lip gloss declutter. Let me know, would you wanna see lip liners, lipsticks, or liquid lipsticks for my next declutter? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.